So at five o'clock, she pulls into the driveway and I run out to get into the front seat and I stop because I see a guy sitting there. And I thought, who is this guy in my seat with my sister? So I reluctantly climb into the back seat and I'm looking at the back of his head with his long brown hair touching the fur-rimmed collar on his corduroy jacket. (laughs) And, And I thought, I don't know if I'm gonna like this guy. I've prayed for this day for a long time with Aunt Jenny. When Courtney was a little girl, she came to our house for a slumber party. She forgot her toothpaste, but that's a story for another time. But as we put the girls to bed, Jenny and I had some time to just pray with them for their future spouse, that God would be so gracious to provide them with a husband someday who would love them, cherish them, and adore them, that the man would be respectable and respected. That night turned into years of prayers, stored up, and today is a day of worship as we see God answer that prayer. Tom, you're gonna answer that prayer from 20 years ago. You know, I can still remember the day how I felt when this little bundle of joy came into Robin and my life. I remember looking at Courtney and looking down at her and going, wow, that is my little girl. I was one proud papa and she was one special little girl. Dad! You look beautiful. So proud of you. <laughs> Courtney, I remember when you were little, and now you would, um, when things would get tough, and I would grab your hand and tell you everything was going to be okay. I can tell you, Tom will fill my shoes without a problem. Tom, I can tell you, you have one very, very special woman in your life forever. But I'll tell you one thing she'll always be a mother. asked me to give his best man speech at his wedding, I pulled out a bottle of wine and started brainstorming all of the embarrassing stories that I could tell about my brother. Tom, you finished your master's in teaching, got a job four hours away, three states away, picked up your life and did it all by yourself, not knowing what the future held. I'm a big believer that everything happens for a reason. I believe that that reason was to meet Courtney. I can't believe this day is finally here. You're finally my wife. When we met, we were both at a crossroads in our lives. But what I'm trying to get at is that we were both kind of homeless. You have become my home my safe place, my comfort. We were both moving around so much, but when I met you, I found my anchor. Little twirl, little bit of this. Exactly four years ago today, I never realized what an incredible journey we were building together. I never would have believed that the shaggy hair, goofy PE teacher would grow into the strong, hardworking, loving man that you'll be waiting for me at the altar. You are the reason that I fight so incredibly hard for the best person that I can be. You give me a reason to make every single day better than the last. You are my soulmate, my other half, the piece of my heart that I never knew was missing. Today is a day where we will reminisce about as our hair turns gray. As the moments of my younger life seem farther behind me, I promise to never forget this day, our wedding day. It's my joy 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit to pronounce you husband and wife. Thomas, you may kiss your bride. I remember meeting Tom for the first time. It was at a happy hour. Courtney wanted me to meet him. She was very excited. And I remember Tom walking in, came up to me, grabbed my hand, shook my hand, introduced himself. And my only words for him, to him was to go up to the bar and buy me a beer. So the thing is, at this happy hour, not only was Tom meeting me for the first time, at this happy hour were the Yahoos from the Heim family. So I'm thinking, well, if he can deal with me and my request and deal with the Heim family, this guy's got to be pretty good. So by the end of the night, everyone is saying their goodbyes and giving their seal of approval on Tom and me being a little petty and very stubborn, decided, well, I can't like him because quite frankly, he took my seat. Now, I, like most women, rarely, if ever, admit that I'm wrong. However, I'm not afraid to admit how wrong I was about Tom the first night that I met him. So as I think back on that night four years ago, I realize how perfect that moment represents the relationship that has evolved over the past four years. I've always considered myself Courtney's partner in crime, her sidekick, always riding shotgun with her throughout life. However, ever since Tom has been in her life, he has seamlessly taken on that role. So as hard as it was for me at times to watch someone else be that for my sister, I can't imagine a more perfect person to protect and care for her than Tom Weimer.